what can we do to just showcase exactly what lamb is? How sustainable it is as well. You know, it doesn't have to be always one way of cooking it, like the Western way. We, we can localize it and, and, and make it suit, you know, the flavors that we want to eat it here in Singapore as well. So we're kind of be, trying to be inclusive of, of, of everyone. Well, this, this is a great start, you know. All our goal is to make people feeling, oh, I want to try lamb. You do your ways, we do <laughs> our ways. That's awesome. Hey friends, we've had some good times. Cooking lamb with my wonderful mother. Oh, I love my And then getting absolutely stuck with some of Singapore's best chefs and their go-to lamb dishes. That's fantastic, but I'm back. And this time, I'm going on a journey to see just how lamb reaches our plates and the people who make it all work. This is Lamb Me Your Recipe, a journey. Hey guys, so I'm halfway through my journey to find out how Australian lamb reaches our kitchens. I've spoken to Meat and Livestock Australia and our awesome butcher, Ang Harrod from Bootles. But when all is said and done, I knew the next guy had to be involved. After all, what's the point on getting my hands on some delectable lamb cuts if Chef Dave Pint from Burnt Ends isn't involved to create some magic with? Chef, how's it going? Very well. Always good to be back. Good to have you back in the kitchen. Oh man, I love it. I love being on that side, but I have to admit, I, I enjoy being on this side. It's so. a bit of fun, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Fun. And you know, after your lamb gyro dish, I knew we would be back <laughs> to see you again. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Chef Day's magic, Burnt Ends was given a Michelin star in 2019. So being here is going to be a good day. I'm excited because when I come here, I know I'm going to be fed very well. What are we doing? We're going to make lamb shank barbacoa. 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 Yeah. Did Sorry. you make up that word or is that actually it's, a... It's, it's a real word. It's, it's, a... Real, it's a real word, real technique. It's yes. sort of where you bury it more under underground. Ah, okay. So what, what, what inspired this dish? I think the flavours mm. and using lamb shanks is always one of our favourites. So yeah. something that you've got to put a little bit of effort in, mm. but the effort brings a lot of reward. All right, let's kick things off. Beautiful. Let me get some gloves first. Okay. Give the salad a quick chop, but it's very rough. Okay. So I just need you to massage it. So just a nice rubbing. Nice rubbing. I didn't quite smell it when you put it on, but Natural once I peppers. started to rub it around, that yeah. aroma came straight up. Yeah. So we can dip the gloves now. Okay. So what are your particular favorite lamb cuts and why? The lamb neck is always one of my favorites. Yep. Super tasty. Yep. Break it down just like a lamb shank, so nice slow roast. Yep. Or slow grill. Yep. And then you've obviously got lamb chops, which is always <laughs> stunning. But then also you've got like lamb kidneys, which is not a mass favorite, but is definitely a favorite of mine. So on its own, yep. deviled on a little bit of toast or something, wow. or as a component for a sauce, it's always uh, okay. super enriching and super tasty. But it, okay. it's a full blown flavor profile, yeah. right? It's not for the faint hearted. <laughs> so spring onion, parsley, coriander. Now, my next question is a little bit loaded. Besides you obviously being Aussie, why Australian lamb? So it's a very tricky question yeah. for me to answer <laughs> and very loaded, but we actually really like it. It's really good product. Generally, we can find really well uh, sourced ethical farms mm -hmm. that really look after their lamb. And so you know that the lamb has been looked after, it's been very well raised. And I think that's what we really enjoy having that relationship yeah. with the farmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're very lucky. Awesome. So that's literally all the preparation we're going to do for now. Beautiful. And then we can start cooking. Okay. Ooh, Singapore, so not hot enough, huh? It should be warm. Sure, that's, that's warm. It should be warm. <laughs> okay. So if you just want to give these a quick touch on the grill. Okay. And then you can just dump them here and I'll pick them up after. And this is to help. This will yes. just make the banana leaves, you see when they go, yeah, change the Yeah, the oil comes out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, they become a little bit more malleable for when we want to wrap the right. lamb shanks. When they say it's hot in the kitchen, it's really hot in the kitchen. This is like... <laughs> so then you've got to be a bit faster. Okay, a bit faster. You okay. will need tongs. You've got to let them set on the grill. Okay. Flip and yep. come off. Okay. So these are... These are tortillas. 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 I was going to say taquitos. Oh no, pressure. So you can see it popping. So ah, can, okay. 
give her a flip. And as you can see, there's like ah. different hot spots on the grill. Yes. So nice. you just you just work around them, right? And right. Then as we go, that's going to be cool. Okay. Just pull her off. If you feel it, it's nice and still. Oh, okay. Doesn't have to actually puff up. Not always. Okay. So gotcha. there we go. We'll save them for later. If Balveni knew how good we smoke, that'd probably come and take lessons. Yep. Little Bernays Balvini uh, collab? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually kicking off as, as oh. we speak. So. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to swap this plate out. Okay. So Chef, obviously with a, with a full kitchen like this, you can do a lot of magic. What tips do you have for people who are cooking at home when it comes to lamb? Look, I think the first thing and the most obvious thing is get yourself a really good barbecue. Okay. Number one. <laughs> Number one, yeah. Number one. That's like set the bar off straight, yep. get off to a good start, and then go get wood. Uh, wood chips, oh, just, wood, oh, logs. wood wood. Yes, wood logs. Yeah, okay. Just get, get something that will impart some real flavour and oh. you get the natural oils coming out of the wood as opposed to charcoal. Right. Where the, all the oil's been essentially burnt out of it. Okay. No, but in all seriousness, it's like, you know, whatever cooking technique, just cook it nicely. So yeah. if you're doing lamb chops or lamb cutlets, wow. do something that's going to be like really tasty and, you know, cook it nicely as opposed to sort of overcooking it mm -hmm. or or not cooking it long enough. Right. So like lamb shanks, you gotta be patient. So what what we're trying to do <laughs> is just get the caramelization of the sugars on the skin. Yeah. So that once we've got them, that provides this huge depth of flavor to the lamb shanks. Okay. It looks fantastic. It smells crazy. This is like everything together is just that smoky lamb essence booming out is, is, is super. So we're gonna get got a good bit of color on these. Yeah. Okay, chef. Banana leaves are done. Tortillas are done. Tortillas are done. Lamb, Lamb shanks done. are done. Now we got to wrap them. Okay. And get them in the oven. Done. You say now they will go in the oven for? Two and a half, three two, hours. Two and a half, three hours. Yeah. Okay. So we just got to make sure they've got a really nice tight wrap on them. Okay. So they uh, hold all the moisture in. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty simple. I usually just... Yeah. And then I just want to fold over. So then you can spin around. This way, aha. Uh -huh. Just like drop it in the middle. Got it. Fold over the top. Not bad, not bad. Get rid of the gloves again. Okay, yep. And we'll bang them in the oven. That's it, we'll leave them there for a couple of hours, a couple of turns, and away we go. Let's see the magic of our work. That's it. So one one? Oh okay. Ah, still warm, but not not hot. too hot? Yeah. Oh wait, okay. Getting there. <laughs> oh. So you can see that. Yeah. Like, and all the oil. Juices, oil. Juice. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. And he's like, yeah, it's all good. Wow. And then we just got obviously some tacos for it. So we will. We got the tomatillo this salsa looks, charred. This so we've crazy. charred them some uh, green chilies and also some cherry tomatoes. Yep. And just seasoned with a little bit of jalapeno pickle juice and salt. Got a barbacoa aioli. So it's basically the same spice rubbles we had. And then just used it to season our sort of house made aioli. Just a very simple sherry vinaigrette. And then I'm just going to go quickly warm this up. Okay. I almost just want to take one and... From the rest of the lamb, all the bones that we take out and the trimming, we make a stock out of and then we just fold the barbecue and marinade through yeah. the stock and it just... Nothing is wasted. Exactly. Nothing is wasted and we just get this huge boost in, in flavour that we get to work with. Yeah. Would you like me to do one? Uh, you, yes, please, Chef. <laughs> you just want to have like the right amount of everything in there. That's one. All right. I'll wait for you though, Chef. All right. The jus. Oh yeah, I love that. Excuse me. Thank Enjoy. You. Always. Pleasure having you here. <laughs> one bite. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I'm speechless. It doesn't happen very often. That glaze is awesome. And again, lamb just has such a, a great flavor. 
going for the big piece. That's a good chart. Yeah. All right. Cheers, man. Cheers again. Thank you so much for having Enjoy. me as always. Thanks for wow. coming. It's always a pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs>